Good morning, everybody. It's Clay on the Trail here with Cash. We're back up to the North Slope Trailhead. We're gonna try something different today. I brought along my ice auger and a little fish pole and we're gonna ski up to Lily Lake. It's December 20th. I don't know how froze it is. I think last year it may have winter killed. At least I heard reports of that, but I'm not really sure, but they have stocked it this uh, summer. They stocked it four different times. So let's go along and see if we can do any good. Oh, so it's hovering right at 20, 22, 23 degrees. Just a little bit of a breeze. So I gotta keep moving to stay warm, but what a beautiful day. So apparently it's been warmer the last couple of days and it has, but the river's actually opened up. There was a, just a small swath opened up there last week and this week that's pretty big. All right, so I've come to the junction. Uh, the East Fork Yurt that I went to last week was that way. Today, I'm gonna go this way, which should go past the Bear Claw Yurt and the Lily Lake Yurt, and then eventually take me to Lily Lake. All right, so one thing I've noticed on this trail, it is gonna be so much fun going back home because it is all uphill and there's some really st steep sections. So I've made it to the Sage Draw and Bear Claw Trail intersection, but the Bear Claw Yurt is just a little ways up here. Oh, I'm telling you, it just drops. I bet I've gone a thousand feet in the last mile. And there's barely a set of tracks to stay in, but oh, well, it's gonna be a ball. Okay, so I made it to the uh, Bear Claw Yurt Trail. And it wasn't really on the agenda today, but let's go take a look at it and see what it, how it compares to the Lily Lake Yurt, which we're going to next and the East Fork Yurt. All right, so the trail coming in. Here's the yurt. Picnic table. This one doesn't have a barbecue grill, it doesn't look like. But there was a propane tank further down. Uh, there's the restroom. Wood pile, and there was a bin for ashes. Cleaning the stove out. So I'm guessing out here out back is the fire pit. Okay, on the inside, this has two single bunk beds and one double bunk bed. So this would sleep eight, right? Two, four, six, eight, yes, eight. Also, a skylight, there's your kitchen with the lantern and the stove, the wood burning stove, firewood center, and then dishes and such. This has a little more modern of a central table and a lot nicer mattresses, newer anyway. So this has all the amenities of the East Fork Yurt minus the barbecue out on their porch. And the East Fork Yurt has a little bit wider beds for all three of them. It would be cramped to get 12 people in there, but I think you could. Whereas this one, it would be cramped to get a well, comfortable eight people. But uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Let's uh, get up to the... Lily Lake Yurt and Lily Lake. Okay, well I made it to the Lily Lake Wolverine Junction. So you would go that way to go to Highway 150. 
This way to Lily Lake and the Lily Lake Yurt. Ooh. And that's where I've come from. So one of the major differences once I hit this point in the trail is this is open to snowmobiles. So if you wanted to hit a yurt and wanted to snowmobile to it, I know the Lily Lake Yurt is accessible by snowmobile. So I'm on a trail now where I could encounter motorized vehicles that I normally wouldn't on the other trails. So this is the road that goes into Lily Lake. Lily Lake is actually just up this draw and around the corner. I've contemplated taking my skis off and walking up this because it is steep. But I'm going to try walking up it. We'll see what happens. So I've made it to Lily Lake. The uh, groomer was at the Lily Lake Yurt, so I'll hit it on the way back. So I'm going to go down Auger Hole and see if there's anything down here. Well, it looks like I'm not the only person that's had this idea. There's for sure someone augured there. And I think over here. And I just refurbished my auger. I'm not even sure it's going to work, but we're going to give her heck. So I just measured with my ski pole. The ice is about 10 inches thick. So we're, we're really, really good out here. I may bring my buddy Shad and a snowmobile up here after the new year. And we could ride them right on out here. All right, so I ended up drilling a second hole further out in the middle. The problem with this hole, this first hole I drilled, the ice is like 10 inches thick and the lake's about three feet deep. So there's only just over two feet of water. I got maybe two and a half feet out of water over here. The outlet's down there, though. I may go down further. That should be the deeper spot is the outlet. All right, well, there's a reason I never got into ice fishing. I'm the kind of guy that I like to catch fish, but I really don't like fishing. chances of catching one up here pretty slim this place gets fished to death all summer long I figured they've had a month and a half to not have anything bother them but the lake is so shallow so I came here with pretty low expectations high expectations for my auger though I did want to see if it would drill holes and it works like a champ so for a new set of blades I totally rebuild it so I'm gonna walk down here See if I can find a deeper hole, drill another hole, cook up some lunch, and then uh, I get all the downhill going out of here. I'm excited for that.
All right, proof that I actually can catch a fish. I wouldn't have believed it. It is a rainbow. And it looks like I'm going to get somebody else's lure. Lure with it. So expectations exceeded. Oh. Now for the long slog out of here. I can't believe I caught a fish. I really had zero expectations. And the first bite I got, I thought I was just catching the edge of the ice. Whew. I'm gonna have to drag my skins out for all this uphill. So the lake I just came to from is there. This here's the trail to the yurt. And the way I came up is over here. So let's go check out the Lily Lake yurt. So this yurt's a little further in than the other ones, but it also would get you a little further off the trail. Listen to the snowmobiles go by. Okay, so right off, this yurt has a pit toilet. And a bigger picnic table and benches by the fire pit. This one has a grill as well, and a large stack of firewood, and another one, and there's your propane tank. Let's go inside. Okay, this must be the yurt I've been thinking about the whole time. Okay, we'll start over here. There are three basically twin bunks. Beautiful view of the skylight here. Table, wood and storage, a mirror. Now this one actually has a propane heater in it. And then a smaller, but a cooktop stove. and then your regular stove. And a lantern. Now it does have a sign that says, please use the wood stove for the main source of heat. Propane just to take the chill off. Propane, it'd be way harder to get up here and way more expensive for them, so that actually makes perfect sense. So I uh, got so excited catching a fish, then I forgot to have lunch. So I am actually going to sit down here Cook me up some lunch and then I'll get out of here. All right, so I cleaned up lunch, um, put all my stuff away, made sure I had everything. I almost left my phone, my gloves, and my hat. Um, mostly downhill out of here, so I'll do a little, little high speed action, see if we can get some good crashes on uh, video.
Well, all right, guys, thanks for coming along. That was actually a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying the tour of the yurts. And who would have thought I could have caught a fish in uh, Lily Lake of all places. And it was beautiful, the purple coloring on it. I hope that came through on the camera. So thanks for coming along. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm uh, just trying to build my channel. Um, I need all the support I can get. So thank you.